All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about three different things that are coming to Madden Mobile 20. The first mode I'm gonna break down for you guys is a new mode called Gauntlet Mode. And it's pretty simple. It's kind of like along the lines of a live event, except it's one of those live events with a bunch of like maps. So you know, like uh, for example, if you guys play Madden Mobile 17 or 16, you guys remember the Road to the Ring where you used to play like four of them in order to get like a ring or an like elite, elite or a gold ring. It's pretty much kind of like that. You pretty much complete a series of events and then at the end you get like a reward you know there's a screenshot here which i found pretty interesting it says which nfl team has the highest franchise uh win percentage at 57.3 percent and it gives you four different teams the bears cowboys patriots or packers um definitely not the bears let me just search this up in case it's actually the bears oh my god it is the bears bears even after them j color years no it's the cowboys it's the cowboys okay good Anyways, that's besides the point. Um, it's a new mode. I guess it's a good thing that, you know, they're simplifying live events and they're bringing in the gauntlet mode so that if you like the format that they played uh, live events on this year, you guys can just play gauntlet mode and then they just keep live events as a separate thing. The second feature we're gonna get into is league versus league, all right? Now they made some changes to league versus league. Uh, this year, I didn't know a lot of players that, you know, played a lot of league versus league. I know in previous years, there was a lot of league versus league, especially when they bought in the 32 team format where you used to like, play against a different team and there would be tournaments for like big rewards that's when league versus league got kind of serious but uh this year they added a lot of new stuff so what they did this year is they added a help request now what a help request is pretty much you just request for some help you're like hey listen homies all right i, I need some i need some whatever i need some gems all right i, I need this pack i need this player can y'all homies help me out and it sends a message to all the homies in the league and it says you can contribute uh, which means you can help the homie out. There's also a league store section that they're adding into the game. And pretty much what you do is you earn a bunch of these league tokens by playing league versus league. And then once you earn these league tokens, you can use them to spend on, you know, uh, different packs and different players uh, in the league store. Uh, only in the league store though. So you can only use these league tokens for the league store. They're also adding a new auto search feature, which pretty much after you, you know, smack somebody or you get smacked, you automatically search for somebody else or there's already another league that's ready for you to either smack you or you smack them. So, you know, you know how sometimes like league owners get lazy. I was one of those lazy league owners. To, I, actually, I don't even know if there's still people in my league on Madden Overdrive, but there'd be a bunch of lazy league owners who like forget to, you know, start a new search uh, for a different opponent after 24 hours. So, you know, people in the chat would be complaining and stuff. So I guess that, you know, kind of fixes that issue. They're taking out League Survival and they're taking out League Bank, but EA is trying to work on League Survival to bring some sort of like similar format back into Madden Mobile 20. So, you know, I didn't really play, you know, or use both of them. I thought it was pretty stupid pointless features so i'm glad they're getting rid of some pointless features or if you're gonna keep the pointless features make them good so they're not pointless anymore so you know i'm glad ea is doing that last but not least the commissioner or the admin has an opportunity to promote your league to you know put your league out there so that more people can see your league and obviously people can't spam this uh, there is a cooldown on it so um, I guess it's kind of cool if you want to be competitive and if you want better players on your team, you know, you could put yourself out there. I really don't know how it's going to work. Maybe it appears on the new section. I don't know, but hopefully it's something that's just not buggy or that's not stupid. So last but not least, probably the most excited feature I am waiting for. All right. Season mode is receiving the biggest upgrade ever, ever in Madden Mobile history. It's just, it has, I don't think there's been an upgrade on season mode in particular by this much it's it, it's insane so not only is the original season mode back but they're adding a new franchise mode on top of that and pretty much you can either play as your ultimate team or as an actual roster of an nfl team if you choose an nfl team you have the option to be you know the team manager where you can you know manage trades signings um your salary cap all that stuff team success and all that stuff which is i i'm pretty sure you know if they do it right this will be pretty cool. And you know, your boy might have to start a series on a franchise mode on Madden Overdrive, or not Madden Overdrive, that game is stupid. Madden Mobile 20. And there's some details in these screenshots, man. There's other teams offering you trades, which I think is pretty cool. There's also a war room tab where it shows you, you know, when your player got injured, um, you know, and the trade offer that other teams are offering you that you're, you know, maybe you're putting a hold on. If EA adds the correct amount of rewards at the end of all this, this mode could be, you know, revolutionary. Like this could change the whole scene of Madden Mobile. After this news, man, I'm excited for the game, man. The game comes out, uh, I believe July 29th. 
is the date that they're putting out there. Uh, so I'm gonna be excited. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and follow me all the way till July 29th when the game comes out and then I will be releasing all the content in the world. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe.